name is Margie Weiss, and this is Women's Fix-It Zone. The area that we're going to work now is called the hamstrings. It's the back of your leg. It's a big muscle group, so feel free to take your larger weight. You can always add more weight later. First, do the exercise safely. Decide if you can add some more weight. What we're going to do is put the weight between our feet at the instep, not at the ankle, but the instep. We're going to flip over onto the belly. Belly buttons to the floor. You're going to put your elbows out, hands in, chin on your hands. Object here is core. It's not so much about the raising and the lowering of the legs as about the core. So what you're going to want to do is press your belly to the floor, squeeze a penny in your glutes, and tighten your hamstrings. Squeeze your inner thighs together. As your legs raise slowly and lower, the range of motion is not quite 90 degrees. You catch it just shy of 90 degrees. Because when it's right straight up and down, there's not much work being done. It's just bone on bone. Controlling the motion up and down is critical. Now, how do you breathe? You breathe out as the weight comes up, and you breathe in as it comes down. That way, as you're breathing out, you're actually pressing your hips down for the floor. You don't want your rear end to come up in the air because that changes the workout and it puts too much stress on the lower back. So as the legs rise, you're pressing your hips down for the floor. You can do these all the way up or you can pulse them near the floor. So you have little baby presses, presses, presses. You're squeezing the glute the entire time. You're squeezing your inner thighs together the whole time. Now if the weight gets too heavy, you can do the whole exercise without the weight.